Hi, I'm Jean Cummings with Politico, and it's time to turn the table with David Gregory, moderator of Meet the Press. President Obama gathered Middle East leaders at the White House this week for the first talk in two years. Many presidents have tried this. All of them have failed. David, what's different now? Well, look, Gene, you and I have covered this uh, from the vantage point of, uh, of being White House correspondents. When President Bush tried to do this, President Obama making uh, his foray now. I think there's uh, still the acknowledgement that uh, some kind of Mideast peace deal can be the basis of uh, stability uh, when confronting threats like Iran, uh, as well as just the importance of uh, peace in and of itself. The president has, we've seen some swings in his relationship with the Israelis, where he put a lot of pressure on the government of uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, and has now embraced him a little bit more closely. There aren't the kinds of demands that we've seen placed on him as we begin talks here. I think there's just a lot of questions about what has changed, whether either side is really in a position to deliver peace, whether Palestinians w who are still uh, embroiled in a civil war in terms of uh, a split in their leadership between the West Bank and Gaza can actually deliver some kind of agreement. The general feeling is that talking is better than not talking. You've got a process uh, that has started here. But as is always the case, uh, you know, a president has to get involved if it's really going to move along in a meaningful way. Now, David, this process is just beginning anew. But the president this week also announced that the combat missions in Iraq had ended, keeping a campaign promise that he had made out on the campaign trail. But both of these issues look abroad, both of them foreign affairs, and everyone at home is talking about jobs. Can the White House break through on either of these issues with the people who matter most, the voters? Well, I think in a way you saw the president trying to, to, to put Iraq and even Afghanistan in some context, which are huge issues that he has to manage. He's got to be seen leading those in a meaningful way while at the same time addressing jobs. The, the difficulty, of course, is how much can he affect either one of these things at the moment. Uh, he's in the middle of a jobless recovery. Government policy has limited value in terms of being able to put people back to work. And yet there's a huge debate about the role of government uh, that we're seeing right now. Uh, whereas in Afghanistan and in Iraq, we still have a lot of troops there. One strategy in Afghanistan is still ramping up. The other, he's trying to wind down, but it's still very, very dangerous for U.S. troops. So, you know, you keep hearing from the White House, they want to be able to manage one, one, uh, uh, more than one thing at a time. And indeed, they have to do that. But the economy is what will be the major overhang as people go to the polls in November. Well, there certainly are a whole lot of issues for the White House to deal with. David, tell us a little bit about the ones that you're going to focus on on Sunday. Well, we really got it all covered. As you know, Labor Day is a real kickoff to the fall campaign, and that's how we'll gear the program on Sunday. We'll talk to Senator Lindsey Graham about some of these national security issues, but also where his party stands going into the midterm uh, campaign. Then David Pluff, who ran the president's campaign in 2008, coming out again and unveiling for the first time the blueprint for how Democrats will run in the fall and how the White House will try to manage that. Then the first of our series in, of Senate debates for some of the key Senate races around the country will focus on Florida. We'll have Kendrick Meek debating Marco Rubio. We've also invited Governor Charlie Crist, who has not decided to join us at this point, but he's a key factor in that race and will certainly come up a lot in the course of that debate on Sunday. So that's the program for this Sunday. Sounds like a great show, David. Thank you. Mm -hmm, thank you.